I'm Todd Whitney. I'm a cool dude. I rock cool shades. And right here in my hand, I've got a cool beer. Some of you may be thinking to yourselves, what's cooler than being cool? Super cool. So what did I just do there? Am I a sorcerer? Am I an X-Man? Am I an ice Pokemon? No! Just a grown ass man that used super cooling. Normally, when liquids reach their freezing temperature, they begin to crystallize. But the inside of this glass is relatively smooth and clean. You see, it's easier for ice to form around particles, rough surfaces, or bubbles. When I hit the bottle, CO2 gas was released and ice formed around it. Ice will also start to form around a seed crystal, in this case, a piece of an ice cube. This beer was only in the freezer for an hour and a half. If I kept it in longer, it would get cold enough and freeze without the help of bubbles or seed crystals. Beer, because it contains alcohol, has a lower freezing point than water. When the beer begins to freeze, the ice will contain some alcohol, but mostly will be water. This process is known as freeze distillation or fractional freezing. It was used by German brewers to make a very strong beer known as ice box. In the 90s, American brewers started to make ice beers by cooling beers into slurries and removing this ice. Bud Ice, Natty Ice, and Ice House all do this, but their process only increases alcohol content a little bit. So there you have it. Chill responsibly, and always remember.